fish are kind of creepy looking. There's no denying that. But while people may say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, some fish should be judged by their creepy looks, because those fish are kind of lethal. These are 20 dangerous fish you should swim away from. Number 20. Sockeye Salmon if sockeye salmon doesn't exactly strike fear into your heart, you're not wrong. In fact, the sockeye salmon is apparently a name given to a fish after a poor translation job, which, if I may be so bold, is a very human thing to do. The sockeye is one of the smaller species of Pacific salmon, measuring anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5 feet in length, weighing 4 to 15 pounds. So if you were to try to get close to it, you'd likely be amazed at how big it is, compared to more than likely yourself. Now, if you're wondering why you should never touch this fish, there are a few reasons. Yes, you can catch this fish and even eat it. It is a salmon after all, but there are rules and restrictions about where and when you can get such a thing, and so you don't want to get caught breaking the law, that's what I thought. But if you do want to be even more altruistic, there's a more natural reason for not touching this salmon. Mainly, their bodies actually help the areas around them when they die. Carcasses of this salmon have been shown to improve newly hatched salmon growth and survival by contributing nitrogen and phosphorus compounds to streams. So in essence, one is dying so that others can be ensured to live. It's not that bad of a trade-off, is it? So while others like dedicated fishermen have the right to get these fish, under controlled circumstances of course, if you do see one in the wild, you should probably just leave it alone. And do I need to say it again? If you see this fish, don't pick it up. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. If you see this fish on the ground, don't pick it up. In fact, no matter where you see it, don't touch it. This is the kangaroo, and it is without a doubt one of the most dangerous fish in the Amazon. They eat their prey from the inside out. Horrifying! Do you want to be eaten inside out? Of course you don't, so don't touch it. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Paraba Catfish If you're looking for a bit of a more menacing reason not to go and touch a certain kind of fish, then you need only look at the Paraba Catfish. But why? Well, because this is the largest catfish in the world, and you trying to get one on your own might just end up with a fish taking you under. Don't believe me when I say that? Well, some large versions of the Paraba Catfish can get up to 400 pounds in weight. That's a really big fish. What's more, while it may only live in the rivers of the Amazon, that doesn't mean it's easy to spot when you're there. The Paraba doesn't like clear and cold water, instead preferring muddy rivers that have soft muddy bottoms. This makes it all the more difficult to see, and thus if you were to touch it in some way, it likely wouldn't have the best of reactions and I wouldn't blame it. Still not scared? Well, how about this story about what this catfish did to a man? Back along in the 1990s, three men were fishing in the Amazon when the net got caught on a rock. Now, despite the many dangerous creatures that are found in the river, one of the men decided to go down and free the net. The net was freed a few moments later, but was empty of fish, and there was no sign of the fishermen that had gone down to free the net. A few hours would pass, and that's when a huge paraba catfish came to the surface and was thrashing about with only the fisherman's legs sticking out of its mouth. The catfish had swallowed a fully grown man up to his legs. That catfish was 8 feet long, and this catfish is so scary that it was even featured on the show River Monsters. Number 18. Vampire Fish 
Also known as the vampire fish, the payara is a species of fish living in the Amazon River Basin, known for a whole lot of things, not the least of which is that their teeth on the lower jaw are quite massive, and more than that, they're known for being quite vicious predators in the water, so that there automatically makes it a fish that you wouldn't want to touch. In terms of its size, they can reach up to 4 feet in length and be anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds, which is an important thing to note because one of the biggest distinctions of this fish is that they're able to eat and hunt fish that are up to half their own body size. Now that may not sound all that impressive, but they do have the tools to get things done when they hunt and they get fed, so why should should they care if it's not impressive to anybody else. In fact, you could argue it's them showing their intelligence, as they aim for much smaller than them to ensure that they can get the kill, thus being fed and thus surviving. Plus, they have no fear of the prey getting away due to their fast speeds and massive fangs of teeth. In fact, one of the creatures that they're known to go after is piranha, and given that they're known to hunt in swarms, it should give you a good idea as to how vicious that these fish actually are. So, why are they called vampire fish? Well, no, it's not because they crave blood, although that would be terrifying. Rather, their lower jaw has two fangs that come upwards and can grow up to six inches in length. Those teeth are what they use to impale their soon-to-be dinner. Guess you could say that tactic doesn't suck. Number 17. Bull Shark Who doesn't love a shark story? Oh, it's you? Well, that's too bad, because a lot of people seem to forget that sharks are indeed fish, and that makes them very scary, because it makes them the largest fish around, and they're not just large, but are also known to attack humans at times. That's enough to scare anyone into not touching them. However, this is where things do get a bit fun, because pop culture would have you believe that a great white shark is the biggest terror of the shark kingdom, but bull sharks are actually the ones who attack humans more often, and kill more often when attacks happen. Not only that, but because they do look like other sharks, it's possible that they've attacked humans even more than we may think, which is a scary thought. In short, bull sharks are very aggressive sharks, and are not actually known to take things lightly when they think they're being Provoked. What's more, these are one of the few shark species out there that doesn't mind living in places like rivers. Yes, for real. This is a shark that could actually find you in a river if you were that unlucky, so you definitely don't want to reach into the water. There was even one that was found in a river 700 miles away from the nearest ocean, which is a pretty long way for a shark and very far from their usual homes. Not only that, the bull shark can actually get up to be about 13 feet in length, making them twice as big as a tall human. When you add that to their aggressive nature, this is one shark to keep a good distance from. Number 16. Zombie Starfish now there's a name that's going to strike fear into anyone, right? The Zombie Starfish. Now, believe it or not, there are animals in the world today that by definition do count as zombies, mainly in the way that they're undeadish creatures that are being controlled by things like fungus. There's a zombie ant, for example, that fits this mold. So does the Zombie Starfish match that mold so much that you shouldn't touch it? Well, yes and no. You see, when it comes to the Zombie Starfish, it's very much about the context as it is the creature. This happens to be a very specific kind of starfish known as the sunflower starfish. And in 2019, some scientists would notice that there was a disease that was affecting them to the extent that they were acting like zombies in one or more ways that were gruesome. One scientist would note that they were actually walking around with their arms falling off, and ones that are in greater progression of the disease were just kind of melting into piles. Now there's a visual for you. Have a good time eating dinner. And to be clear, there were multiple things that led to this disease being spread, not the least of which was rising ocean temperatures. It's been hitting the population of this starfish pretty hard, and while it's definitely not something that could affect humans in a similar way, you wouldn't want to touch one of these infected starfish without protection. You know, just to be on the safe side. Wouldn't want you to be all walking dead, you know. Number 15. Black Dragonfish if you don't know, there are actually quite a few species of the fish known as the dragonfish, but the one that I'm focusing on here is the black dragonfish. But why this one, you may ask? 
Well, it's not only because you shouldn't touch it, but because it's a rather interesting fish as a whole. Not the least of which is that despite it at times being barely over a foot, usually getting to around 14 inches at max, it lives in some of the deepest and darkest waters of the ocean. I'm talking about it being down at around 7,000 feet below sea level. However, if you really do want a reason not to touch this fish, you need only to look at their teeth. Seriously, take a look at those things. They might seem small in comparison to their bodies, but they're more than enough to hurt you. Black dragonfish are also bioluminescent, but unlike most such predators, which use their light primarily to attract prey, they can see their own light. As a result, the fish can use their light to hunt. The light is nearly in the infrared and barely visible to the human eye, and because of their black bodies, they'd be able to blend into the waters and then use their own infrared light in order to get their prey more easily. So it may be small, but it has more than a few tricks up its sleeve in order to get the job done. Number 14. Stargazers there are many fish in the sea who use a variety of tactics to get their food, and the family known as the stargazers are no exception. Their body is literally built for ambushing unsuspecting prey, showing that they've learned how to get the job done. For example, their eyes are on the top of their head instead of the sides like most fish, their bodies are relatively flat, and their mouths are actually upward facing. What they like to do is to go into a reef, bury themselves in the sand, and then patiently wait for prey to come where they'll snatch them up before they even realize what's occurred. But wait, there's even more reason for you not to touch them. There are actually 51 species of the stargazer in the world, and some of them actually have a lure with in their mouths that looks like a worm, so they'll use that to attract their prey and bring them even closer, thus allowing them an even easier meal. A very clever fish indeed. As for why us humans shouldn't even think about touching them, well, the stargazers are actually both venomous and electrifying at times, depending on the species, of course. But could you just imagine if that had all the killing power in one body? Well, actually, let's not think about that. Would you like to know the irony of the stargazers? Well, it's that despite having plenty of reasons to not be touched, people do touch them quite a bit as they catch them and then serve them in certain restaurants around the world. Guess you like to eat dangerously these days. Number 13. Anglerfish Yes, now it's time to talk about one of the most famous and perhaps infamous of all the ocean's mighty predators that you should definitely never touch. Ladies and gentlemen, the anglerfish. Or if you like, you could also call them the sea devil. Given that its teeth are huge and sharp and the eyes are downright terrifying to look into, we think that's a fair moniker. Even though we're not sure why we would want to give a scary fish an even more scarier name, but I digress. Those of you who are aware of this fish remember that it's the lure of this fish that has made it infamous in the depths of the ocean. This unique evolution is actually a protrusion that was born out of its body, which is kind of disgusting and that's all we want to say about that. The anglerfish will turn the light from within its protrusion on just enough to illuminate the area without revealing itself, and as the light shines, fish will slowly approach, curious about the light and its source. Now to some of you, this might be a bit of an odd thing to hear, but there is a reason for it. Most of the time, the anglerfish live in places like the midnight zone, where the natural sunlight does not exist, as the light rays dissipate in their intensity the deeper you get into the ocean. So, since there's no natural light, the fish and other creatures down there have to make their own via bioluminescence, and they can use that to both light their way and to hunt down their prey. In this case, while the fish are distracted by it, the anglerfish will get closer and devour the fish before they even realize what's happened. And while we do acknowledge that many of you won't be anywhere near the midnight zone anytime soon, if you do see one of these, don't even think about touching it, for your own sake at least. Number 12. Koi Fish we're going to change things up for you a little bit because we've been showing you some rather scary fish as of late, so why not show you some that you can touch, even if that means getting bitten as a result. I'm talking about the koi fish, another name for Amur carp that you can find all over the world. 
These fish are sacred to some and have even been used in television shows like Avatar The Last Airbender as a representation of not only balance, but also the spirit of the world itself. But in our world, koi fish are a kind of carp that people don't just love to have, they love to have in various colors. Because these koi fish are able to come in a variety of colors that makes them special. And believe it or not, people have at times paid over a million dollars for a rare colored koi fish. Now, I don't want to say that people are crazy for doing such a thing, but yeah, people are pretty crazy for doing such a thing. It's a fish. Anyways, when it comes to the koi fish, people prefer to feed them by hand, and they'll put the fish food in their hands and dip their hand into the water so that the koi fish will eat the food. And when they do this, they literally bite the hand that feeds. The twist here is that because of how their mouths work, while they do technically bite you, it only feels like a tickle, so that's why you keep seeing people feeding them in ponds in that fashion. It's pretty cool, but sadly, we need to get back to the other fish that you really shouldn't touch. Number 11. The Puffer Fish Now if you really don't know why you shouldn't touch a puffer fish, you really do need to pay more attention in animal science class or you need to go and watch Animal Planet a lot more. After all, this is by and large one of the most deadly creatures on the planet and one touch by you to them can literally end your life. Puffer fish contain a toxin called tetrodotoxin, which is one of the most deadly natural poisons out there. And for scale reference, if you were to compare this toxin to one of the most deadly ones in the world, cyanide, you would find that it was actually 1200 times more deadly than cyanide. And cyanide can kill people pretty darn easily for the record. And if you still don't believe me that you shouldn't touch this fish, well, each and every puffer fish is said to have enough toxin in its system to kill not a single single person, not a dozen people, but over 30 people. One fish can kill that many, and the lethal dose is not larger than the head of a pin. And yes, it is true that places in Japan do serve up the puffer fish, but that's because they're literally masters in the art form of culinary arts. They carve up the puffer fish in order to ensure that all the toxic parts of it are gone from the meal, or else they'll kill their customers and their business. If all of this isn't enough for you still, when the puffer fish senses danger, it inflates itself so that its spikes are there for all to see, literally telling you to back off. But even if you were to find them in their deflated form, you still shouldn't touch them ever. Number 10. African Tigerfish now, I've already told you there are many people who desire to go after the fish that you really shouldn't touch, and in Africa, many game fishermen have been known to go after this species known as the African tigerfish, mainly because it gives them quite a challenge when they do manage to get one on the line. Many would consider this fish Africa's equivalent to the South American piranha. The African tigerfish is a fierce species, sporting razor-sharp teeth, muscular bodies, and distinctive tiger stripes for which they are named. These predators often hunt in packs and are known to put up a fight when it comes down to the fishing line. We just want to note here though that if you're something that gets compared to a piranha, I'm going to stay away from you just to be safe. Aside from all of that, along with their impressive bodies, they're also known for their speed. They're one of the fastest fish out there when it comes to freshwater fish, and if that's not enough, they're so fast indeed that they'll actually catch birds in the air while they're in flight. And when fishermen do catch them in their nets, they have to mind their fingers because the tigerfish will bite them clean off. Ouch! Number 9. Moray Eel Eels as a whole are something you should never touch, mainly because some of them, like the electric eel for example, have a charge within them that are able to hurt humans. But I'm talking about another eel, which is technically a hagfish, known as the moray eel. And while this one doesn't have an electric shock, it does have something else that you should probably stay away from. Morays secrete a protective mucus over their smooth and scaleless skin, which in some species contains a toxin. It's not known to kill you, but I mean, why take the risk? 
If you do want something more concrete though, they're aggressive predators who are always looking for the next opportunity to strike things that they think are prey. In fact, they're referred to as the apex predators of their habitats. And while they may not be known for going after people, that doesn't mean that they won't lash out if the opportunity arises. Number 8. Red-Bellied Piranha I've already mentioned piranhas before, but not all of them are built the same way. Some of them, believe it or not, are often more dangerous than others, which might make it odd to you that I'm technically talking about one of them. The red-bellied piranha is a fish that has gotten a bad reputation over the years for being an incredibly aggressive fish, but in truth, they're omnivores. What's more, they're actually scavengers more than hunters, so much so that while they do travel in packs, that's more for defense than it is for offense, unlike other species of the fish. They are aggressive, and so you shouldn't get near them, but they rarely bite people, and even more rarely do they consider them a meal. Number 7. The Goonch Catfish if you want to hear a story of a true man-eater, then we'll talk about the Goonch Catfish, a fish that drew a legend after it attacked and presumably ate people in three villages on the banks of the Kali River in India and Nepal between 1998 and 2007. According to the people there, they were putting bodies in the river for funeral purposes, and apparently the Goonch would simply devour them. thus getting a taste of human flesh and meat. Then it apparently wanted to change course and began going after more warm bodies, resulting in the death of three who not only disappeared in the waters of the river, but were never actually recovered. Jeremy Wade would search the waters for this fish and indeed found a massive goonch that weighed 161 pounds, and that's more than enough to take a small child. He couldn't prove that it had actually eaten more adult-sized people, but if one was that big, way bigger than average, it was possible that there were more larger catches out there. Number 6. Alligator Gar there are certain creatures out there that are known as living fossils, meaning that they've been in the world for a very long time, and the alligator gar is one such creature. Now you may think that you shouldn't touch this creature because of its dual rows of sharp teeth, and that is indeed a good reason, but the other reason you shouldn't touch them is because humanity has already done a lot to their numbers. Their habitats are being hurt, and their numbers are dwindling. So if you see one in the wild, you can point it out, just don't interfere with it anymore. Number 5. Stingrays Given that this next fish has a stinger that's been known to kill people, you might think that you should completely stay away from this fish at all costs, right? Well, not exactly. You see, their stingers are meant to kill people, or even predators, meant for defense, and stingrays as a whole actually have a nature that's more gentle than you may believe. which is why you can find them in petting aquariums at times. Stingrays will usually only sting when disturbed or stepped on by unaware swimmers, which is honestly a bit fair, because how would you like it if you were stepped on? Well, exactly. Number 4. Electric Eel now, I've talked about it before, but we'll dive deeper into why you shouldn't touch this eel, or hagfish as it's known. Electric eels can produce up to 600 volts of electric pulse 400 times per second. Now, these high voltage pulses are so strong that they remotely activate the neurons inside of their prey, making their muscles spasm. This does immobilize the animal so the electric eel can then swallow its prey whole. And to be clear, this is not enough to kill you should you touch one, nor do eels go after humans on a typical basis. In fact, much like the stingray, they usually only shock people if they get too close or if they're stepped on, and humans are only affected because the jolts that are being amplified by the water around them. Number 3. Arapaima Known to be 9 feet and 2,000 pounds at times, the arapaima is one of the biggest fish that you'll ever encounter in the Amazon River. What might make them even more interesting, though, is that they're known for being armored fish, which is frankly quite awesome. The 
The arapaima has no fear of predators in the river, and it has its own predatory abilities that make it very fierce in the water. So that alone should be enough to make you stay away. The trick here, though, is that the arapaima are one of the fish that needs air from the surface, so at times you might actually see this fish gasping and coughing and think that you should touch it to check on it or help it out. But please do us all a favor and ignore that impulse for your own good. Number 2. Lionfish Known as one of the most beautiful fish of the sea, the lionfish is also one of the most deadly. The spines that you see on those fish are ones that are full of venom, and this venom consists of neuromuscular toxin that's similar to cobra venom in toxicity. And we all know that those snakes have a bite that sucks, so why would you want to get a prick from this thing? Now, while they're known to be aggressive fish, that aggressiveness isn't applied to humans more times than not, and in fact, most times when they do inject their toxin into humans, it's an accidental contact, so ensure that doesn't happen to you by not touching this thing. Number 1. Kandaroo and finally, we have the kandaroo, a fish that's been so associated with legend that it's, um, delicate to say the least. In short, the legend goes that a man was relieving himself in the Amazon River, and the fish, which is known to be quite small at times, was able to rise up through the stream that he was making and enter into the man's... Well, you get the idea. Whether this story is actually real is up for debate for a whole lot of reasons, but what is known is that this fish is indeed one that's known to infect a body, albeit in ways other than the story I just told you. What's more, the kandaroo has spikes on its head, and so if it does get into your body, surgery and intensive surgery at that is what will be required in order to get it out. The legend alone should be enough to make you stay away, and we'll just leave it at that. That's all from the realm of fishes that you really shouldn't touch. Are you surprised by all the fish out there that you wouldn't want to get close to? And how many of these species have you personally known about beforehand? Are there any others that would fit perfectly on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments below. Check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.